Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a procedural drip generator using Mari in Mari Extension Pack 503. So you'll end up with a single node where you can easily control different settings and you can reuse it in any scene you want. First, let's create a group node. Enter the group node by pressing Ctrl and double clicking. I'm going to create a directional gradient and hook it up to a brightness lookup and feed the result into the output of the group. Let's view this and step into the direction of gradient and make some adjustments to the start and end point. First off, I'm gonna invert this because I like to see the black at the top first. As you can see, the midpoint is shifting, so I'm gonna turn off the relative midpoint. So here I'm defining the length of my gradient because this is something I would want to expose later or want to control later. I'm gonna call this my gradient length and expose this. And now, as you can see down here on my group node, I now have these settings under a group called gradient length. Now we need something that looks like drips. For this view, I usually use a Spotify node. So I'm going to view this, step into the transform section and pull up the Y. I'm going to make some adjustments to get a finer look to this, because I want to use this node for my fine drips. I'm going to create a second Spotify node for my larger drips. Again, step into the transform, pull up the Y, and I also want to have some wider features, so I'm also going to change the X and the Z axis a little bit. Before I start tweaking this, I'm going to combine these by creating a merge node and hooking these two up and viewing the result. I'm going to set the merge node to add sub, and let's make some modifications to this so we have some smaller and bigger features. So let me reset this. And let's hit space and make some space here in the graph. And I want to finally see something. So I'm gonna create a direction warp. I'm gonna plug this into the gradient length. And I'm gonna create a manifold 3D node because the gradient expects a 3D world space coordinate by default. I'm going to hook up the merge node into the strength and let's view the output. And nothing's happening so far because the direction of warp is not yet on. So I'm going to set this to 1 and we can start to see some effect, but it's very subtle. So I'm going to increase my strength multiplier. And now we start to see something. Let's go back to our Spotify nodes and try to find a nice look to this. Some wider features. So this is just tweaking sliders until we have something that has a good mix of larger and smaller features. Something like this, for example. And let's go into our brightness lookup. Pull this over here, right mouse click and invert. And let me play with some of these curves a little bit. And obviously we don't have enough drips yet. So I have to go back and make some more adjustments to this. So I might want to reset some settings and then just do it like this. I could also go into my gradient length, for example, adjust the crush a little bit. Something like this. And because I want to control the drips together, I'm going to create a manifold 3D node and just pipe this into the manifold of the Spotify's. So now I can just change the world scale and the drips will change together. Let's go back to our brightness lookup and make some further adjustments. And I also want to dirty this up a little bit. So I will first create some space here and I'm going to create an FBM node. I will pl plug this into the strength multiplier. So first I'm going to reset the strength multiplier to one and instead control this with a set range node. 
I'm gonna put this in here. And I'm also gonna turn off the clamping for the old min and old max. So now you can see we have this kind of noise effect mixed in. You can control this with the amplitude. Always go back to the Spotify because those are the main factor for the look. And here we are. This already looks fairly decent, but of course we have some issues at the top here. So I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna create just a merge node. I'm gonna create an axis mask and just put this on the over. I'm gonna set the merge node to screen. And in the axis mask, I can also tweak these settings a little bit. Select one of these presets, make this a bit softer. So something like this, for example. Let's clean up this graph a little bit. So I'm gonna press Alt-1 on all of these just to collapse these down, make it a bit tidier. And now we can expose some more attributes. So we already exposed the gradient length, but I also, for example, want to have the drip scale. So I'm gonna call my manifold here drip scale and expose the world scale. I'm gonna call my FBM my drip dirt, expose the amplitude. So I'm gonna set a nice default value because whatever you're setting, or whatever you have set here when you press the expose button will be the default value. And I'm also gonna expose the brightness lookup. So this is my remap curve. Expose this. And now if I look at my group node, you can see I have all the basic controls here. So I can change the length, change the contrast. I can remap this. I can adjust the dirtiness and the drip scale as well. And obviously you can uh, expose as many attributes as you want to have better control over this. Now if you want to save this, you can use, for example, the mask shell. So I'm gonna call this my Drip generator. I'm gonna go to the mask shelf and in a new tab, I'm just gonna save a new preset. And here we are. This was one of my previous thumbnails. So you can just take a new snapshot. And here you are, so you can reuse this at any time. And that's it, and I hope it's useful.